Hello everyone, how are you? Renee here and welcome to this week's Pick a Card reading. So this reading is going to be relevant from July 2nd roughly till the 9th or 10th, okay? So for this reading we're doing something a little bit differently. Um, I want you to pick a pile, choose a pile. In each pile are several oracle cards from several different decks. And that's basically how I'm going to do a reading. I might draw just a few tarot cards, but this reading is essentially going to be based on these oracle cards as part of the pile that you choose. All right, so which pile do you feel drawn to right now? Is it pile number one, pile number two, or pile number three? And once you have made up your mind, made your decision, you know what to do. You can look below and click on those timestamps and fast forward to your reading. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a great week. All right, Group 1, how are you? So let's see what cards we have for you this week. So your first card is Wisteria Goddess, and it reads Expansion, Immortality, and Infinity. So next for you, we have Echinacea with Open Your Third Eye. It's safe for you to open your center of clairvoyance. By doing so, you'll see the truth. Next for you, we have number 21, Fresh Approach. Next up, we have number 22, Min Minimize Guilt. I like how they're in order here, 21 to 22. Next, we have Consistency. And lastly, we have number 14, competence. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle tarot cards. But while I'm doing that, I'm taking a look at these cards. And I'm getting psychic information from the cards, from keywords, from symbols in the images to help you navigate through your week. Okay. So what I'm getting is you're trying to get to the bottom of something. For some of you, this might be self-healing. For some of you, it's some kind of a problem that you've been faced with and you haven't come to a solution. And that's kind of where, you know, this card, opening your third eye and taking a fresh approach come in. Okay. Um, Try to see it from a different perspective is kind of what I'm getting here. Also, there's kind of a strong urge for you to be consistent and competent this week. And that, again, that could be for your career, your work, your schooling, your family, your relationship, whatever it might um, entail for you, whatever that means for you as an individual. Um, so be consistent, be competent, also know that you are competent and maybe you'll feel more competent by being consistent. Maybe you'll feel more competent by having a fresh approach to a problem or an issue, whether it's in your personal life or your work life. The first card has you thinking about, you know, expansion, expanding your mind. Um, it also has you thinking about the further future, like what, you know, the, the idea that if you plant a tree today, it's going to benefit future generations. This is about that type of thinking. Like, what are you doing today? What choices are you making that will um, hopefully help future generations, future groups, people, whatever it, whatever it means to you? You're thinking about the future in this kind of selfless um, idealism is kind of what I'm getting for you. Minimizing guilt. Now this this can have to do with you not being afraid to make a choice. I When I look at this image, I see her being blindfolded and she's just unable to make a move or a choice. It's kind of reminding me of um, that Eight of Swords. And interesting that we have this image with a blindfold and then open your third eye so that's a great 
idea that's kind of coming through for you this week, group one, is to shut your eyes, but open your third eye, open your intuition, because your clairvoyance is going to allow you to see the truth. So in essence, there's this idea of taking off your blindfold and seeing the truth, seeing it with new eyes, a fresh approach. There's kind of a theme about opening your eyes and maybe even opening your mind along with, you know, the consistency and the competence. Okay. So let's see what we get with tarot cards. I'm just going to draw, I don't know, a few and see what else we get for you. Also, um, when you're blindfolded or meditating, it is an expansion of your mind. So there's also this idea of expanding your mind this week, group one. And again, that can tie into seeing things with fresh eyes, with a fresh, fresh approach or coming at a problem with a fresh approach, seeing it from a different perspective. All right, so let's see what we get. Temperance, love it. Three of coins and the page of coins. All right, so your cards, we're going, I think we're going to, going to just draw three here. Tempering a situation. Oh, it's also about balance, you know, M emotional balance. That's what it means for me oftentimes. Got the three of coins, which is teamwork, working with others, being taught, training others. Um, it also can tie into the consistency and the competence, you know, um, working well with others and being very reliable. And then after that, we have the page of coins, which can mean a job offer. Um, someone is communicating with you in regards to finances or your health. Um, usually for me, that's it's something along those lines. So this could be a raise, a promotion, a job offer, good news in regards to your health or your finances. But it's coming after the balance of your emotions and then the competency, working well with others, etc. Okay, so it all kind of ties in together for you, group one. Um, I am going to hold, let's see, we'll hold this card up. I know there's a little bit of a glare. But sometimes when we look at images, we see different things, you know, things differently than other people do. It's like that with all artwork, right? Someone will say, see one thing in a piece of art, someone else will see something else, or find meaning here, and someone else finds meaning there in the same, you know, work of art or the same, you know, manuscript or whatever it might be. So I want you to just kind of take a look at all the images in this artwork because she adds so many interesting symbols, etc. You might find something um, that calls to you. You might want to take a screenshot and take a look at this image. Might be something familiar in here for you. Also, I will hold up the Josephine Wall card if I can grab the card. There we go. We'll hold this up as well. There's a lot of hidden elements and you might want to take a screenshot and take a look. And see if anything kind of calls to your soul with that image. So a different kind of a reading for this week, but nonetheless, I hope it helps you. Um, do any colors jump out at me? Really, blue is the only color that really jumps out at me. We've got blue kind of permeating four or five of the nine cards. So a little bit of red as well. Blue and red. Um, blue is throat chakra and third eye chakra. And then the red is usually the root chakra, you know, feeling grounded, safe, secure, steady. Numbers, we have two, definitely 21, 22. Pay attention to repeating twos. It might be a reminder for you to either, you know, get a fresh approach or take away your guilt. Or I would add take away your fears, fears of making a choice or fears of, uh, Presenting an idea to a group is kind of what I'm getting with that. Okay, I hope this helps you group one. I hope you have a great week. Happy 4th of July if you're here in the States. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hello group two, how are you? So let's see what oracle cards we have for you this week. 
as we move into July. So your first card is Tawny Goddess with a message of conflict, physicality, and victory. Your second card is Hibiscus, unity. You're spiritually connected to everyone through God. Use this sacred bond to heal your family, friends, and yourself. Next we have number eight, Breakthrough. And next for you, group two, we have number 16, It's a No. So what question might this be answering for you this week? Obviously it's gonna be different for all of you. We also have Clarity. And lastly, we have number 50, Equilibrium. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a look at the cards, feel the energies while I'm shuffling the tarot. I mean, we definitely have that tawny brown color kind of permeating throughout your week here. So kind of what I'm getting is there is a, there's equilibrium, there's a resolution to some kind of a conflict with other people is kind of what I'm getting. I mean, some of you it might be an inner conflict within yourself, but there is a breakthrough. There's clarity. There is equilibrium restored, which I love how that was the last card because you're going through this, which is going to lead to balance and equilibrium. Maybe it is within yourself. Maybe you've had a conflicted um, idea of something or you're conflicted on what to do about something or someone or a situation, whether it's personal work, you know, your home, um, your health, anything like that. I love that um, we do have unity here right after the conflict. So it's like, okay, it's, there's a conflict, but then it's resolved and there's unity and everyone's coming together. And then because there is unity, there is a breakthrough of some sort and there's clarity. And maybe the clarity in your situation is that you need to say no to someone or something, okay? Maybe you're one of those people who can't say no. You have a hard time. You're a people pleaser. Um, you're, you say yes, even though you're burning the you know, candle at both ends. And this week, you're just, you're having some kind of an emotional mental breakthrough that allows you to say no with clarity and confidence. And the whole conflict situation looks like it does resolve. The brown color, tawny, obviously it, it can mean, you know, conflict, physicality, and victory. But also brown is a very earthy color, so it means being grounded and, st you know, standing your ground, essentially. So if you say no, be firm about it. If you know that that is the right answer for you, then be very what's the word? I can't even think of the word. Be very firm about it. You know, stick to your guns. Stick to it. Don't cave, you know. Um, maybe for a few of you, the answer no is coming to you from another person. But maybe that enables you to see clarity about them and that situation or that relationship. Maybe you have a friend who you have felt like they haven't been a very good friend lately. And you really need their help for some issue or reason this week and they tell you no and with that you have clarity to kind of let that go let that relationship go you know because this could be a relationship thing it really could be saying no to the relationship um standing your ground in the relationship and maybe you earn their respect or vice versa maybe that's the equilibrium it's going to be different for all of you but it is very clear that there is a conflict, which with some work, there is unity coming after the conflict. So there's peace, eventually unity and equilibrium. You are having some kind of a breakthrough. This is not someone else. This is you. And the breakthrough, like breakthrough, like I said, might be you 
having clarity and saying no and sticking to your guns, right? All right, so let's draw like three tarot cards and see what else I can tell you about your week. Okay, so we have the five of coins, the nine of cups, and the knight of cups. Very interesting, very interesting. So with the five, we have sometimes a fear of being, you know, poor or sickly or destitute. But sometimes that fear is unfounded, you know, sometimes it's not based on any kind of facts. It's just a fear or a worry. After that, we have the wish card, the nine of cups, and then we have the knight of cups. So I feel like these two are saying your wish will be granted. And maybe your wish is unity and equilibrium and clarity after the suffering, after the issue. This could be the conflict as well. Maybe you're in a relationship with someone who deals with this. They have a fear of, of loss, of being destitute or they are always afraid of something going wrong with their health or something like that or it could be you but but essentially there is kind of a lifting of these two things there's a lessening a lifting there's some solutions coming in especially if that's your biggest wish which it probably is you know if there's a conflict you want to wish for unity and peace um if you're uncertain or if you're feeling a little bit taken advantage of then you want to wish for for clarity and strength and saying no and some kind of a breakthrough or it could be communication you're wishing for there's been a conflict there's been a wall up between you and another person and in that case I feel like there's some kind of a breakthrough coming there's like a revelation or a breakthrough in communication coming but I love to see the wish card here for you and I love to see the knight of cups after that because it's a very emotional wish that's coming true for you this week Okay, it's not like you're winning the lottery. It's some kind of deep emotional wish. All right, so I want to show you these two cards. First, this one, because the artists put lots of things in the pieces here. And you might see some symbols that kind of strike something psychically for you. First, in this card, he looks like John Lennon to me, but maybe not to you. And then in this one by Josephine Wall, if I can grab it. Nails won't allow me to. Okay, we have Breakthrough. And she adds a lot of little gorgeous elements in her work as well. So there might be some things that kind of give you a little nudge as to what's going on this week in those two cards. And yeah, again, the, the color that stands out is brown. It's, it's still brown, maybe a little bit of gold which is prosperity and the tawny is actually gold mixed with brown so golds and browns earth tones are your colors good fortune um, prosperity clarity are keywords and unity or equilibrium for you this week all right have a great week and happy fourth of july if you're here in the states i'll see you next time bye Hello group three, how are you? So let's take a look at your oracle cards for this week as we go into July 2023. All right, your first card is Moss Goddess and it reads breeding, growth, and reproduction. And next for you, we have Sweet Pea. Your wishes are coming true. What your heart has been longing for is getting closer each day. And next we have 11, Make a Decision. This is my favorite card in this deck. I love this artwork. All right, master number 11 as well. Next for you we have number 31, Stop Breaking Agreements. Could be with yourself, with others. Next we have Expectation. And lastly, we have equality number 37. All right, lovely cards, group three. Very, 
beautiful imagery. So what I'm going to do is shuffle the tarot while I take a look at those cards and psychically get some information for you. All right. Breeding, growth, reproduction, wishes coming true, make a decision, stop breaking agreements, expectation, and equality. Okay. So what I feel is that once you make this decision, your expectations will be coming true. There will be growth of some sort, um, whether it's growth of a family. Maybe you want to become pregnant. I mean, expectation, we say she's expecting a child, right? So if you're considering pregnancy, since we do have reproduction here as well, the empress is on there and the, the symbols for male and female joining, that could be a possibility, right? Or maybe you're considering becoming pregnant this week, or maybe you have a pet who's pregnant. Um, that's a possibility. But essentially, I feel like there is growth and abundance and something joyful to look forward to once you make a decision. But you have the power. That's kind of what my guides are telling me to tell you, is that you have the power. And they are also telling you to stop breaking agreements and these are contracts you have with yourself you know um maybe you set goals for yourself and then you give up too easily this is kind of a message to stop giving up if you make let's say you have a goal about your health and you slip up you don't stick to your protocol or your exercise regimen and you slip up and then you just easily give up. I'm getting that you don't do that anymore. There is no perfection. You don't have to be perfect to do your best. Your best is not perfect. In fact, no one's best is perfect. There is no perfect, right? Stop feeling like you're letting yourself down is what I'm getting with this card because you're not, you're doing your best. You need to be proud of yourself, okay? The only agreement that you need to keep with yourself is to love yourself and give yourself some compassion, the compassion that you give other people. It's very interesting to me as well that we have wings, wings, and wings. There is some kind of flight happening for you this week, um, symbolically, a symbolic type of flight, like you're taking off. Like this is maybe a starting point for you to launch. Your wishes are coming true and some things are really working in your favor here. It looks very, very good. There is reason to be very joyful. There is reason to be very excited about something that's coming up. But it all kind of starts with you, okay? And equality, this means just seeing yourself as equal to others. You have just as much a right to be here and to be joyful and to have an abundant and joyful life as anyone else or any other living being on the planet. Okay, you are worthy of this. You are worthy of this um, wish that might be coming true for you. Okay, so let's draw a few tarot cards and see what else I can tell you. So we have the three of coins, which came up for another reading as well. Interesting. We have temperance also came up for another reading and the four of coins. Okay. So you might want to take a look at, I believe it was pile number one's reading that had these two. Um, take a look at that and see what you can get from that reading as well. So for you, it's definitely being diligent, working with others. There's a sense of teamwork or being trained or training other people. There's a sense of balance, emotional balance. And for some of you, if it is something to do with, you know, your, your feminine hygiene or whatever, this can be a balance of emotions or hormones. I heard the word hormones, so I have to say what I get. Um, it could mean balancing out of hormones. And then we have the four of coins, which, which is essentially um, it can be frugality. It can mean being careful, right? Don't be a spendthrift this week. Be a little bit frugal with your money and a little bit frugal with your energy and your time. You don't want to overexpend yourself, okay? So keep those things in mind. 
Um, but essentially, yeah, the, these three together for me kind of point to a balancing of your health, whether it's mental, physical, spiritual, or emotional health. There's a balancing happening this week, which is really good news. So I'm trying to see, do any colors jump out at me? Um, the yellow kind of jumps out at me. We've got golden yellow kind of popping in different places. Um, in fact, in a lot of the cards, there's that golden yellow, which is about joyfulness, happiness. Um, it's also about connections with others and willpower and self-confidence, which can have to do with making a decision. But let's hold these three cards up. If I can grab them. Because I want you to see the wings on each of these. Like this has... Um, kind of the wing as a part of her her drapery or like a cape but it's but it's definitely a wing or likened to a wing and then she's got a wing or two right and then she or he has wings as well with this kind of moth image on the back so it is a week of freedom of breaking through of breaking free from maybe old constraints but it's up to you to break free from them, okay? You are equal to others. You are no less worthy than the person you see at the grocery store or your neighbor or even, you know, even famous people. You are no less worthy than they are. I want you to look at these images in this artwork and see if anything jumps out at you. You can take a screenshot and zoom in and see if you see anything that means anything just to you personally because this artist uses a lot of symbology in the faces of these characters and she is speaking of equality and it's number 37 okay knowing your worth and also trusting yourself to make a decision and again there is a theme of um growth and reproduction or productivity okay so keep that in mind as well let's hold this one up too again so you can see all the little elements here there's some animals here animals and other types of people down there something might jump out at you it could be relevant for your week so yes gold and golden brown those are your colors this week numbers we have number three and number one popping up so pay attention to those ones and threes. We also have a three of coins, yeah. So one and three, I would pay attention to those. All right, group three, I hope you have a great week and happy fourth if you are here in the States. I'll see you next time.